how these little guys got here and their story is actually a pretty cool story. Um, they were rescued. Uh, they were confiscated by U.S. Customs at the Anchorage Airport in September. Uh, they were part of us being smuggled to China, which sounds a little crazy and obscure that 211 turtles would have been stuffed into boxes and uh, boxes and bags and, and boots and smuggled, but it's actually part of a global problem of turtle smuggling and the decimation of the turtle populations worldwide um, to feed a voracious appetite for turtles in China. It's actually come home now to the United States where a lot of turtles here are being taken from the wild, smuggled, um, and in this case U.S. Customs intercepted, as they have a few other times, uh, handed them over to U.S. Fish and Wildlife. They were fostered up in Alaska, and then the call went out to people who were involved in um, uh, turtle research and education to uh, find homes for these turtles. We're part at Soundwaters. We do a lot of teaching um, and research with the Diamondback Terrapin, which is an animal that is native to Long Island Sound. We're part of a nationwide group. They reached out and we just jumped up as quickly as possible say we'll take as many as you need. And 22 Terrapins flew in overnight, Delta Dash uh, on Delta Airlines, and arrived here in December. We expected a pretty high mortality, uh, but in fact, while about half of the turtles did die in Alaska, the ones that came here have thrived. Today's the first time they actually got into our terrapin exhibit and went from maybe a two foot long uh, small tank to actually being a large tank where they could dive and climb and they really seem to like it.